Now for part two. Dr. Evil. No. Austin Powers part two, the spy who shagged me. Colonel, you better have a look at this radar. What's, what is it, son? I don't know, but it looks like a giant dick. Dick. Take a look out of the starboard. Oh my god, it looks like a giant pecker. Where? Over there. What sort of bird is it? Wait, it's not a woodpecker. It looks like someone's privates. We have reports of an unidentified flying object. It has a long, smooth shaft, complete with two balls. What is it? Looks like an enormous wang. Pay attention. I was distracted by the big giant flying willy. Yeah? What's that? It looks like a huge Johnson. Yes, sir. Get on the horn of British intelligence and let them know about this. If you've got a time machine, why don't you go back in time and kill Austin Powers when he's sitting on the crapper or something? How about no, Scott, okay? <laughs> Let's hop on the good foot and do the bad thing. Yes, 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 no, no! As you know, every diabolical scheme I've hatched has been thwarted by Austin Powers. And why is that, ladies and gentlemen? Because you never kill him when you have the chance and you're a big dope? The moon unit will be delivered the the moon unit will be divided into two divisions moon unit alpha and moon unit zappa Well how could you do it? I was just doing my job. No, I mean literally, how could you do it? The man's so fat the sheer mechanics of it are mind boggling. How could you do this to me on national television? Well throw me a freaking bone here, Scott. Why did you run out on me? Because you're not quite evil enough? Well, it's true. It's true. You're semi-evil. You're quasi-evil. You're the margarine of evil. You're the Diet Coke of evil. Just one calorie? Not evil enough? Those are skin tight. How'd you get in those pants, baby? Well, you can stop by buying me a drink. No. She's American. Okay. Those are skin tight. How'd you get into those pants, baby? You can start by buying me a drink. You know what's remarkable? It's how England looks in no way like Southern California. Tell me, Mr. Powers, do you swing? Are you kidding, baby? I put the girl in swinger, baby, yeah! Austin Powers, I presume. Powers by name, Powers by reputation. Felicity Shagwell, CIA. Shagwell by name, Shag very well by reputation. Oh, behave! Not if I can help it. <laughs> Mojo, the libido, libido, the life force, the essence, the right stuff. What the cert, what the French call a certain I don't know what. Do you want to know how we keep warm in Russia? I can guess, baby. We play chess. I guessed wrong. When did you get the clapper? November 1964, Dutch Indies shore leave. Move over, Rover. This chick is taking over. Ah, that's not a good one. Why not use your knowledge of the future to play the stock markets? We could make trillions. Why make a trillion when we could make billions? A trillion's more than a billion, numbnuts. <coughs> Did we get Dr. Evil? No, sir. He got away in that big spaceship, sh spaceship that looks like a giant penis. The male reproductive organ, also known as tallywhacker, schlong, or wiener. Any of you kids want a wiener? Dad, what's that? I don't know, son, but it has great big nuts. Hot, salty nuts. Who wants some nuts? Lord Almighty, that looks just like my husband. That looks just like my husband's one-eyed monster. Step right up and see the one-eyed monster. Rawr! Hey, what's that? It looks like a Woody. Woody Harrelson. Could I have your autograph? Sure. Sure. Oh, Lord. Look at that thing. It's so huge. No, I've seen bigger. That's just a little prick. <laughs> Austin, I am your father. Really? No, not really. I can't back that up. Right, idiot. Yes. Mini-me, you complete me. Of course I'm not happy! 
Look at me, I'm a big fat slob! I've got bigger titties than you do! I've got more chins than a Chinese phone book! I've not seen my willy in two years, which is long enough to declare legally dead! I can't stop eating! I eat because I'm unhappy! And I'm unhappy because I eat! It's a vicious cycle! Now if you'll excuse me, there's someone I'd like to get in touch with and forgive. Myself. <laughs> Sorry, I farted. It's a long road ahead. Hang on, Mini-Me. If anything should happen to you, I don't know what I would do. I'd probably move on and get another replica, but it would take... There would be about a ten minute period where I would be totally inconsolable. You see, I've turned the moon into what I like to call a Death Star. What? Oh, nothing, Darth. What did you call me? Nothing. Ripoff! Bless you. Talk to the hand, because the face don't want to hear it anymore. What hand? Talk to your hand. You ain't all that in a bag of potato chips. What are you talking about? Don't go there, girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Who's girlfriend? Don't, west, don't mess with me, I'm one crazy mofo. I had to pop a cop because he wasn't giving me my props in Oaktown. No, I heard that somewhere. How does it feel, baby? Mmm, lower. How does that feel, baby? From the moment I heard Frau say that I had a clone, I knew that, I would be sa I knew that I'd be safe because I'd never be alone. An evil doctor shouldn't speak a lot about his feelings, but it hurt and my pain don't make me too appealing. I'd hope Scott would look up to me, run the business of the family, head an empi evil empire just like his dear old dad, give him my love and the things I never had. Scott would think I was a cool guy, return the love I have and make me want to cry, be evil, but I have my feelings too, change my life with Oprah and Maya Angelou, but Scott... Scott rejected me. Say la vie. Life is cruel. Treat you unfairly. Treat you un <laughs> treat you unfairly. Even so, a god there must be. Mini me, you complete me. Look, I was wondering if we could work this all out. You are, after all, my father. Scott, you had your chance, okay? I've already had someone created in my created in my image. He's evil. He wants to take over the world, and he fits easily into most overhead storage bins. Him? Look at him, he's crazy. He's like a vi vicious little chihuahua thing. He'll kill me the first chance he gets. Probably. Send in the clone! <laughs> Dr. Evil! No. Dr. Evil! Let me make you a deal. You get the mojo and you can keep your money. And I'll get your baby. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Ribs. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, ribs. Excuse me? Baby back ribs, chill, baby back ribs. Mini me, stop pumping the laser, honest to God. Why don't you get you and the laser, why don't you and the giant laser get a frickin' room for God's sakes? So, Austin, tell me about the future. Well, everyone has their own flying car, entire meals come in pill form. And the earth is run by damn dirty apes! Oh my god. Look at me, I'm zippy long stockings. I'm bigger than you. I'm higher up on the food chain. Get in my belly. My name is my name is Ivana. Ivana Humpelot. Come again? Ivana Humpelot. Well, I want, a, I want a toilet made of solid gold, but it's just not in the cards now, is it? First things first! Where's your shitter? I've got the giant turtle head poking out. Charming. I'm not kidding. I've got a crap on deck that could choke a donkey. It's all squidgy. Christ, I'm getting all emotional from it, you know? Sick as a dog. <clears throat> okay, okay, gonna vomit. I want to see what happens in the 80s and the 70s. The 70s and the 80s. The 70s and the 80s. You're not missing anything, believe me. I've looked into it. There's a gas shortage and a flock of seagulls. That's about it. You shut your mouth, you bastard. Who is fat. Oh, right in the mummy daddy button. 
That's for calling me crap, you fatty. I can't do the women's voices very well. I can't do any of them very well. Mini me. No, we don't not honor kitty. No, L leave Minnie, no, leave Minnie Mr. Bigglesworth alone. Just love him and stroke him. Listen, Missy, would you like another go? Because once you've had fat, you never go back. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's tiny. I've had bigger chunks of corn in my crap. We've had reports that there's a spy in the Ministry of Defense. The contents of this room are vital to the country. Be on special alert. Yes, sir. And try to lose some weight, for God's sake. Yes, sir. Mr. English Colonel telling me to lose weight. Oh, I'm a hard case, he says. Well, listen up, Sonny Jim. I ate a baby. Oh, I baby. The other, other white meat. Baby is what's for dinner. I'm dead sexy. You a crap. Cool. This coffee smells like shit. It is shit, Austin. Oh good, then it's not just me. It's a little bit nutty. And I'm spent. Do you smoke after sex? I don't know, baby, I've never looked. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. Mini me, where are you? Could someone put a frickin' bell on him or something? Take special care of him. He's my special boy. You know, what I've learned here today, perhaps that no one can take your mojo. You can look all around all you want, but what you're really trying to find is on the inside. Take care of yourself and each other. I'm Jerry Springer. Hello? Out there? Is the movie over? I'm still down here, and I'm still in quite a lot of pain. Maybe someone could, in the lobby could call an ambulance. Oh, the pain is really quite severe. I fashioned a makeshift splint. Oh, here it goes. Ah! Scott, you are my love child with Dr. Evil. I thought it was a test tube baby. Lies! All lies! Hello, Mummy. Can I have some chocolates? I want some Mars bars. Don't smack my bottom, Mummy. Austin. No. Austin? Sorry, love. I got stuck in your dirty pillows. What if God was one of us? Just a slob like one of us. Blue, 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 blah, blah, blee, blee, blue. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I wrote that. Thank you. You sent what? You have to kill me. Who sent you? Or, no. <laughs> Let me start over. Who's. Who sent you? You'll have to kill me. Who sent you? Who sent you? Kiss my ass, Powers. Who sent you? Dr. Evil. Dr. Evil. Damn it. That was easy. That was easy. Why did you tell us? I can't stand being asked the same question three times. It just irritates me. Where's Dr. Evil hiding? Why would he tell me I'm just one of his low-level functionaries? Where's Dr. Evil hiding? You'll have to torture me. I will never tell you. Where's Dr. Evil hiding? Damn, three times. He's hiding in his secret volcano lair. Where's Dr. Evil's secret volcano lair? I spit at the question. Do I really have to ask you two more times? Go to hell, Powers. Fine. Where is Dr. Evil's secret volcano lair? I will take it to my grave with me. Aha, you have to answer. He asked you three times. No, no, no. The second question was, do I really have to ask you two times, two more times? So that would be a, the first question in a new line of questioning and wouldn't count in the original line of questioning. He's right. What a burn. 
That sort of thing could get a man fired. I think he was hot for you. That's enough. Yeah. Me spuds are boiling. No. I don't know that one. Um, number two, you look so healthy and youthful. Frau, you look so... right. I will never love another man. That's true. I've lost my mojo. Oh, so that's why... Oh, so that's why you... Yes, yes. I thought you didn't like me. Oh, no, baby, you're very shagadelic. I just didn't want to fall in love again, and I thought you'd never love me without my mojo. It's not you. You're fab. You're switched on. You're a little bit of all right. I can't believe Vanessa, my bride, my one true love, the woman who taught me the beauty of monogamy was a fembot all along. Wait a tick. That means I'm single again. Oh, behave. Oh, you shot me, you a-hole. Jiminy Jumpin' Jesus, I can't believe we're going to pay that madman. I got nukes up, nukes up the yin-yang. Let me launch one for God's sake. Sir, are you suggesting we blow up the moon? Would you miss it? Would you miss it? Let me ask you a question and be honest. Do I make you horny, baby? Do I? Do I make you randy? No more games. Dr. Evil sent me here to kill you, but I find you so sexy. Just make love to me, Austin Powerovich. Hurry. You are hairy like animal. Grr, baby, very grr. Make love to me, monkey man. Wait a tick, Basil. If I travel back to 1969 and was frozen in 1967, presumably I could go back and visit my former self. But if I'm frozen in 1967, how could I have been unthought in the 90s and travel back to... Oh no, I've gone cross-eyed. I suggest you don't worry about these things and just enjoy yourself. That goes for you all, too. Yes. Well, looks like you have a choice, Mr. Powers. Save the world or save your girlfriend. Austin! Felicity! Don't worry about me, Austin. You've got to save the world. I choose love, baby. Wait a tick, who are you? I'm you ten minutes from now. Damn it, you're handsome, baby, yeah. I was just thinking the same thing. We're sexy. We are sexy bitches. All right, this is your goddamn ridiculous. Kill them both. The world is mine. The world is mine, motherfuckers. Whoo! Austin Powers, I've heard a lot about you. I'm Rebecca Romaine. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Well, of course you haven't had the pleasure, Rebecca. We just met, baby, yeah! Okay, you're an animal! Okay, there we go! You're Tiger! You're Tony the Tiger! You're great! Very good, loving it! Now you're a lemur running in the pack! We go left, we go right! There's a predator out of the jungle, what's going on? Burrow, that's right, you're a lemur! That's all you've got? You don't have sharp teeth capable of biting. of biting. Make an interconnected series of tunnels like the Viet Cong. And look, I'm not even shooting you. It's crazy. And I'm spent. Anyways, the key to this plan is the giant laser. It was invented by the noted Cambridge physicist named Dr. Parsons. Therefore, we shall call it the Alan Parsons Project. Oh my god. What now? The Alan Parsons Project is a progressive rock band in 1982. Why don't you just call it Operation Wang Chung, ass? I'm sorry I don't... Oh, nothing. I'm sure Operation Banana Bananarama will be huge. My name is Robin Swallows. Or, my name is Robin Swallows. Swallows? That's a very interesting name. Maiden name Spitz. Which is it, baby? Spitz or Swallows? Mr. President, after I destroy Washington, D.C., I will destroy another major city every hour on the hour. That is, of course, that is unless, of course, you pay me one hundred billion dollars. Dr. Evil, this is 1969. That kind of money doesn't even exist. That's like saying, I want a kajillion bajillion dollars. Don't worry, Mama. Things won't get weird. It got weird, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, right, I knew it. 
Scott, I've been a frickin' evil doctor for 30 frickin' years, so cut me for some frickin' slack. You forget, Scott, that we're inside a volcano. We're surrounded by liquid hot magma. Oh, thank God. Hello, Basil. Hello, Austin. How was your honeymoon? It turns out that Vanessa was a fembot. Yes, well, we knew all along, sadly. Anyway, I have a new assignment for you. <laughs> okay, that's it.